you like pina coladas and getting lost in the rain, maybe try one of these personal ad sites to find your match. Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today we're going to be going over the top personal ad dating sites. Before I dive into the reviews of these sites though, you should definitely make sure to check out our free online dating app quiz. So this quiz will pair you with your perfect online dating site or dating app. It's quick, it's fun, it's easy, and it's totally free. So don't forget to click the link above me or in the description down below to go to our quiz, take it, then come back here and comment below what your results are because we would love to know. Also, do not forget to check out our deals page because we here at Online for Love are always getting all sorts of awesome deals for different dating sites and dating apps and why spend more money if you don't have to? So make sure to click the link to our deals page to see what we have on offer for you and possibly save yourself some money. So the sites that we're going to be going over today include Lacanto, Double List, Bedpage, and Grinder. So let's get started with number one, Lacanto. So Lacanto is a Craigslist-esque classified site. So the main site is used for many things. You can find gigs on there, you can find like different things that people are selling, etc. like a regular classified section. And then there is the personal section. So like you're reading a real newspaper, there's classifieds, there's some ads for things, then there's the personals. They also have a specific section called hashtag dating, which is really their dating app. Now this site does separate its personal section based on location. So you will find people in your area or in other areas specifically. So some places will have a lot more ads there and some places might not have any at all. It depends on how populated the area is. The site is very simple and straightforward. It's pretty minimalistic actually. It's not something necessarily to write home about and it could use probably a facelift to make it even more user friendly, but it's very easy to navigate. As far as the hashtag dating section, it is complete with full on profiles and Tinder like swiping. To sign up, you will need to provide some basic information like your gender and the gender preference that you're looking for, your name and birthday. Then you'll be asked to provide five hashtags that describe yourself, words describing the type of relationship you're looking for, hobbies you like, your personality, etc. Then you must upload a photo. Then your location and you are good to go and will be prompted to start swiping on people. Swiping left means you don't want to match, swiping right means that you do, but before you are allowed to view people's info and profiles, you must answer those questions about yourself first. So these include your height, your hair color, if you want or have kids, your drinking and smoking habits, what languages you speak, your living situation, if you are in a relationship right now or not, your star sign, your religion, and your political affiliation. After that, you are completely free to view people's full profiles and continue swiping. You can message people after you both have swiped right on each other. So this is a pretty interesting um, aspect to this site. Probably people who are going on this site looking for classifieds, maybe looking to sell something or, or find a gig, wouldn't expect that this site has its very own little dating app section specifically for that outside of just the personal ads part. As far as the prices for this site, you are actually able to use it as a free member to post ads, to contact advertisers, to save favorites. But if you would like to use their premium features, you will have to sign up for their premium membership, which will actually just cost $2.95 per month, so very cheap. And that will allow you to utilize the same features you get as the free member, but also you can see online status, premium label, sneak peek, instant notifications, respond to reviews, see followers, account verification, faster browsing, ad resurfing, unlimited chat storage, etc. So you do get a good amount of things for the premium membership and it's pretty cheap. Overall, it seems like Locanto is a pretty solid choice if you're looking to utilize some sort of a personal ads-esque type of dating site. I mean, they really have their own dating site on this non-dating site. So it's kind of interesting. So if you're enjoying this video so far, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So it really helps us out when you give our videos a thumbs up because that shows YouTube that people are enjoying our content. So then YouTube pushes our videos out for more people to see. So we would really appreciate your thumbs up and your subscriptions. But let's go ahead to the next site, which is called Double List. So Double List is definitely a more straight to the point, um, only personal ad site. So there's no classifieds here. There's no selling things, looking for gigs, etc. like Craigslist. It's just personal ads. So it's very straightforward and to the point. The website itself is also pretty straightforward. It's very minimalistic and doesn't have too many bells and whistles. They do have a few features, which includes personal ads based on your location, tags and keywords, which help when searching for something specific, a messaging system between users, and all kinds of dating opportunities for anyone, including anyone in the LGBTQ plus community. Some of the categories that you can search through on this site include guys for guys, women for guys, couples for her, families for couples, women for women, etc. 
It also has a little section of the site called Fun Stuff, which includes things like sexual education articles, quizzes, user submitted stories, common lingo, DL on Twitter. By the way, their quizzes are pretty fun. I took one of them to find out which alcoholic beverage I would be, and apparently it's a Cosmo. As far as the pricing, one of the best parts about this website is that it's totally free to use. It's free to post your listings, to reply to people, to message people, take their fun quizzes, etc., which is pretty amazing. It's also a relatively new app, and it doesn't have the biggest user base, so you might have trouble finding people in your area. But overall, it's pretty straightforward, to the point, personal ad site that can be very helpful for you. Question of the day, have you ever responded to a personal ad or posted one and actually had a result from it? I'm really curious to hear your personal ad stories. Leave your answers down below. What's your personal ad story if you've ever had one? If you've ever written a personal ad that got responded to or you responded to someone else's and you actually met up and something happened, let us know. We'd love to hear. Also, alternatively, if you want, you could write what kind of alcoholic beverage you are. So the next site is called BedPage. It's fairly new, but does seem to have racked up a good amount of users already. It's mostly popular in the US and Canada. So unlike Doublelist, this isn't strictly a personal ad site like the first one we talked about. This is more of a Craigslist-esque classified sites with a personals section. You will actually have to sign up for an account on this site in order to start posting though. Actually, the sign up process and profiles on this site are pretty extensive. When you're signing up, you'll have to add some information about yourself, including the basics about you like your gender, your date of birth, country, state, city, etc. Then appearance parameters like your hair color, hair length, hair type, your eye color, your eye wear, your height, weight, body type, and your ethnicity. Also, info about your facial hair, your best feature, any body art you have, and, and what you consider your appearance to be, like average, below average, etc. Then there's lifestyle questions, including if you drink, smoke, your marital status, if you have or want children, number of children, your pets and the types of pets you have, your occupation, employment status, your income, your home type, living situation. If you're willing to relocate, the type of relationship that you're looking for, like pen pal, friendship, romance, long-term relationship, etc. Your background and cultural values, including your nationality, education, your languages that you speak, your religion, your sign, your Chinese sign and your star sign, what gender you're seeking, what age you're looking for, where they live. Then you can add in details of the person you're looking to find so you can look for the same parameters that you put in. So you can search for people based on their gender, their age, where they live, their height, weight, body type, ethnicity, etc, etc. All the things that you put about yourself, you can search for those in other people as well. And you can edit your hobbies and interests. So you can put what you like to do for fun slash entertainment. So this includes things like comedy clubs, fashion events, dining out, education, crafts, etc. Then what kind of food do you like? So like barbecue, German, Indian, Italian, Mexican, seafood, etc. Then what type of music you like, like jazz, R&B, rock, hip hop, etc. And what sports do you like to watch or do you play? So aerobics, archery, diving, cycling, camping, bodybuilding, skiing, etc. Then you can write a little bit more about yourself, what you're looking for in a partner. You can add a profile heading. You can actually verify your profile as well by uploading ID proof and a selfie. As far as pricing, it's actually free to look through the listings and everything, but if you want to post your own, it will cost you usually about $10 per post. If you want to actually stack up some credits on your account so it'll be easier when the time comes to post an ad again, you can buy credits. Actually, it seems like you can only buy these things with Bitcoin, which is kind of confusing. I just didn't see an option to buy credits any other way besides Bitcoin, so interesting. <laughs> now, if you want to possibly save some money on a host of different dating apps and dating sites, do not forget to check out our deals page. The link to that is above me and in the description down below. So we here at Allen for Love are always getting all sorts of awesome deals for different dating sites and dating apps and why spend more money if you don't have to. So make sure to click the link to our deals page, see what deals we have on offer for you and possibly save yourself some dough the next time you're signing up for a dating site. So the last site on our list is Grindr. So let's dive into that. Grindr is not necessarily a personal ads site, but it is a huge dating app for the LGBTQ plus community. The thing is with the other personal ad sites that we listed, a lot of them are not super popular. So while they might have good features and might be really personal ad style that you might be looking for, um, if you want to actually find someone 
you know, nearby you, and if you don't live in a huge metropolitan city, you might be hard pressed to find someone using the other sites. But if you use something like Grindr, your chances definitely go up. So this is definitely targeted towards younger people, and they claim to have over 30 million users on the site. It's actually popular worldwide and is found in over 190 different countries. They offer some basic filters like age, what you're looking for, tribes, and then advanced filters like online now, photos only, face photos only, haven't chatted today, weight, height, body type, position, relationship status, meet at, and accepts not safe for work picks. Grindr actually offers two different types of memberships. Let's dive into those and their costs. So the extra membership offers 600 profiles, no more ads, advanced filters, global chats, read receipts, saved phrases, and mark chatted. This will cost for one month, $19.99. For three months, it'll be $39.99. And for a year, it's $99.99. Now, if you want to use the Without Limit membership, this will give you unlimited profiles, no more ads, viewed me, advanced filters, global chat, expiring photos, incognito, unsend messages, read receipts, saved phrases, and more chatted so you get more things. And the prices for that goes as follows. For one month, it'll cost you $39.99. For three months, it'll cost you $79.99. And for one year, it'll cost you $239.99. So definitely you can get pretty pricey over on Grindr, but you don't have to pay for that if you don't want to. So Grindr is super popular worldwide and is a great option for gay men looking to find a hookup. It sort of functions in the same way as a personal ad site, but is more efficient. But that's going to just about wrap up these reviews of these sites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to check out our free online dating app quiz, which will be linked above me and in the description down below so that you can be paired with your perfect online dating site or dating app. And maybe it's one that we mentioned in this video. Maybe it's something totally different. Go find out. And then also do not forget to check out our deals page, which will be linked above as well in the description down below so that you could possibly save yourself some money on a host of different dating apps and dating sites. Also, do not forget to check out some of our other videos popping up on either side of me now that you're just about done with this one. And don't forget to answer the question of the day. What's been your experience with personal ads? Have you ever actually met someone from using it? Did you get a good outcome? Have you responded to others? Have you posted your own? What's been your experience? Definitely let us know in the comments down below. And also let us know if you've tried any of these sites that I mentioned today or what your first impression is of them. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you liked it and subscribe if you loved it. And hopefully we'll see you here again at Online for Love. Thanks, bye!